Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the most popular topology book uh, in existence, at least in the U.S. Uh, this is Topology 2nd Edition, and it's written by James R., and I think it's Monkries. I think that's how you say uh, his last name. I'm pretty sure they used this book uh, at, at MIT. I will check. This is the International Edition. Um, I bought this book for a course that I took, so I did use this book. Um, let's talk about it. Okay, this is the inside cover. It looks like Monkreys works or worked at uh, MIT. Uh, I'm not uh, really sure, but I'll look after I make this video. And this is the uh, Prentice Hall of India version. So I was able to get this uh, a little bit cheaper than the regular version for Barbara. So the contents are fantastic, right? This book is super comprehensive and it is a great reference that makes it a great book for anyone serious uh, about topology. Um, so I'll just go through the contents. Let's go to the next page. Chapter 2 talks about uh, continuous functions and some spaces. 3 goes on to connectedness and compactness. Four is on countability and separation axioms. All the basic stuff. Tons of stuff here. And not just the basic, basic stuff, but even more stuff. So the book is really comprehensive, and it's really easy to find stuff. Like if you're looking in the index, you can usually find what you're looking for. So it makes it a good reference. Part two is on algebraic topology. It keeps going. More stuff there. And that is the rest of the contents. Here's the preface. And the first sentence is extremely useful. It says, this book is intended as a text for a one or two semester introduction to topology. So it's an introductory book at the senior or first year graduate level. So it is not a beginner book, right? Uh, most people consider this to be a graduate level book or a senior, I would say definitely senior level undergrad book. Um, if you're studying mathematics and you don't have this book yet, I, I really think you should pick it up. Um, this is like the standard on topology uh, for grad school. Part one, general topology. Let's talk more about this book. So this book is a pretty good read. I have spent some time reading this book, but I'll be honest, I have not spent a great deal of time reading this book. I did use this book for a course, but I mainly used it as a reference for things. I was fortunate enough to have an amazing professor as a topology professor. Uh, both times I took topology. I took it as an undergrad and as a grad student. And both times I had fantastic professors, so um, I did not have to read my books too much. Uh, actually, as an undergrad, I did read the book, uh, and as a grad student, I used this one, and I did not read too much of it. Uh, I did do some of the exercises for fun. Uh, they weren't homework problems. They were just, uh, like, you know, additional problems that I would do uh, for practice. Uh, you know, we usually would have tests, and in order to prepare for a test, I would just go over all my notes and all my homework, and then I would do some random problems uh, from this book as well. The difficulty level of the exercises... Uh, is not too high. Um, it varies from easy, medium to slightly uh, difficult. Again, I think the big thing about this book is that it serves as a good reference. Um, and typically, if you're reading this book, you already know some topology, right? This is an introductory senior level or graduate level. For most people, I think it would be grad level. So you've probably already had some undergrad topology. That was my situation, right? I already knew what a top topological space was. I took topology as an undergrad. I got an A. I loved it. So when I used this book for grad school, I just relied on my teacher's notes mainly. But it's a great reference, and uh, if you don't have a solid topology book yet, uh, the book is Topology, and the author is James R. Monkreese. That's it.